Okay, we're going to talk about the functionality of the oscillators. We've covered the waveforms, now we're going to dive into more stuff. Okay, first we're going to talk about tuning. You can tune each oscillator using the knobs here on the front, the pitch knob, which assigns a specific pitch. with quite a range. And you can also fine tune a half step in either direction. We have the ability to do wave reset, which isn't seemingly so important uh, orally, but uh, will undoubtedly be helpful in various modulations and maybe dubstep. We also have key follow, which once you turn it off, the pitch is whatever the pitch is set to over here on the pitch side. Which again, allows you to have drones and also steady modulation. That is the tuning section. We have oscillator mods, the FM amount, which is crazy. It is drawing this right now from oscillator two, which is not, uh, it's not up, but it's using oscillators to oscillator two's frequency and waveform as the FM amount. And of course the FM amount is modulatable by various envelopes and LFOs and modulation sources. Uh, same with the amplitude modulation Right now it is also using oscillator 2's sawtooth waveform and frequency to modulate the amplitude, or the volume of oscillator 1. We have the ability to side glide. We have a knob for that right on the front, glide amount. Ooh, let's turn the pitch back on. We have the glide at 90. You have individually assignable uh, glide amounts for each oscillator, but you're going to have to turn the glide button on to get them. So those are pretty extensive. We also have oscillator slop, which we covered in the analog section. Oscillator slop just means that your pitch is going to vary over time. Uh, the amount depending on what you have the oscillator slop set to. If you have it to 127, I imagine you're going to be drifting in and out of tune of anything you're playing along with. Even if it isn't immediately evident when you're playing it. All right, next we have oscillator level. This is where we can set the volume of the oscillator. We have a knob for that as well. And if I haven't said already, uh, these knobs work on whatever oscillator is chosen. So if we choose two right now and we wanna jack up the output volume. And pitch. So yes, you can be using these knobs throughout any of this. Um, I've been using some of the knobs and buttons up here, which you can also do. Um, we also have sync. Right now I have oscillator one with sync. Um, I have oscillator two playing. So uh, the pitch manipulation we do to oscillator one is going to create a... Um, sync effect let's do oscillator one's frequency uh, that's a terrible example of sync but uh, you're capable of modulating 
that sync with any waveform choice you want and all kinds of different modulations, including envelopes and everything else to get the sound that you want anywhere from the traditional cars sync sound to new things as yet unheard. Next, we're gonna talk about the character section. Character has all kinds of cool functionality for you to change the character of your digital oscillators. And let's listen to some of them. We're gonna choose a waveform that's a little more interesting. Uh, I've chosen Gothic, which uh, has a sort of organ tone. We have Decimate. So you can hear it is really messing up that waveform. And decimate is something you can modulate. You can control the amount of decimation uh, with a variety of control sources. So if you want it to change over time, etc. So you're not standing here turning the knob like I am. We also have drive, which is, as you might imagine, it uh, boosts the volume of the sound. I don't know if it adds any particular characteristic to the sound as it is boosting it. Yeah, it sounds like it's overdriving it. Or maybe that's just the sound of everything I have overdriving. But anyway, uh, also hack, which is another means of digitally destroying the sound. So if you're interested in those sorts of crazy decimating and hacking, you can really mess things up. And of course, these effects are modulatable over time. So you can use the wheel to, the mod wheel to make them occur or uh, various, the LFO, the sequencer even, anything can control these effects and make them come in and out. Uh, we also have Air and girth. We talked a little bit about girth uh, when we were doing the analog thing. Girth adds some low end. Makes it chubby, makes it fat. Or at least part of fat. Girth does the opposite. It adds uh, a, an emphasis in the higher frequencies. So those are some helpful things that you can use to get a variety of sounds. We have external input um, with a variety of functionality in regard to that. I don't have that hooked up at this moment, so we're not gonna hear it. We also have a sub oscillator. So you can add that low end to your already giant low end if you want to. Uh, also controls for the envelope follower exist here and the quad level. Um, I should probably talk about oscillator split here, although maybe I'll cover that with a filter. Okay, so that very basically, I have plainly just barely scratched the surface here. That is uh, the functionality you will find in the oscillators. <laughs>